This is an All Powers 200 watt portable solar panel, model AP SP 033. You have the two buckles here to unfold the portable solar panel, and you have this green reflective strip going across the portable solar panel. It comes with built in stands all throughout. You got this flexible material. On the other side, we have a pouch that has instructions on it showing you that you want to go at an angle to get the best orientation against the sun. Here's a quick look at the adapters on what you get. You get multiple DC adapters for various laptops, all kinds of devices. You have Anderson connection to MC4. MC4 to DC adapter. And MC4 to terminal battery connection. One thing I might note is I've not used this yet, but I don't think you want to directly connect these terminal connections to the MC4 on your solar panel. If you're going straight from a battery to the solar panel, you need to have a charge controller in between that to uh, regulate the uh, voltage and make sure that nothing gets fried. This is the polycrystalline version. We're going to go ahead and get this set up outside and see how well it does. Plugged into the EcoFlow Delta Max. So in this video you're going to see me here setting up, we're going to be unfolding and setting up the portable solar panel. And I actually already took a look at the stand for the built-in portable solar panel. And for my specific location, I need a very small angle. And the built-in stands could not allow me to further lower the solar panel to get that perfect angle against the sun. To further explain my point, I actually found a method that is really cool for finding the perfect optimal angle to position the portable solar panel against the sun, and that is using a soup can. The idea behind that is that the soup can is going to cast a shadow if the angle is not perfect. And you can maneuver that can to find the most optimal angle to then position the portable solar panels to get the best results for solar input. Looking at the front interface of the EcoFlow Delta Max power station, we're looking at about 158, 159, just touching 160 watts of input. And that's not too bad based on my experiences with these portable solar panels. I'm using this to power my refrigerator and freezer. So... There's going to be points in times where the uh, condensers are not running, the refrigerator is not running. So you can, on a good sunny day, top this back off very easily. 